we're both part of this program in interactive media arts. Mm -hmm. So we're interested in uh, how new technologies, emerging technologies can uh, interface with these sorts of things. So we're really interested in all sorts of experiments. Uh, Andy will talk in a moment about you know, some of the ways that you can use different sensors, you can use different AI systems. Like, I'm really amazed, I have to say, just at these apps that are available now and identifying things. So there's, uh, you know, we're, we're very much interested in um, challenging uh, um, idea that there's like nature on one side and culture and technology on another side, right? We're really interested in thinking about how these things uh, interact and, and our project is really about experimenting with all sorts of new technologies. So um, in, in my course and my research, uh, I like to introduce a lot of technology and I combine it with uh, urban farming. So I come from a design and technology background and I have my interest on learning about how food systems works. And so when combining both of them, we uh, uh, work on projects that are like hydroponics, control environment systems. Uh, how, how can I grow something the most efficiently possible? So I can, in an hydroponic system, uh, I can use less water, for instance, um, than traditional culture. So it really speaks to, uh, it, it's been a quest to seeing how we can produce food more efficiently for the whole population. Because right now, uh, traditional farming, it's has been amazing. Has fed the whole population at the detriment of soil quality. You know, big monocultures, um, sterilization of the soil, and it's like, well, we cannot continue. That there are some challenges need to be addressed. And um, well, um, vertical farming or hydroponics are a part of that solution. I believe um, they, they for sure not. By, by their own, they're not the magic pill, they will not solve all the problems. Mm -hmm. They actually, they probably will be just a fraction of solving that problem. But in the face of uh, you know, global warming and changing weather patterns, uh, you know, all the farmlands around the world are gonna be more exposed. Mm -hmm. And so this is gonna impact food production in a way or another. So I think uh, in a way or another, controlling the environment where we grow food is gonna be something that we have to do more and more.